All right, ladies, here it is, what you ask for. My mini bee completely packed out with not an ounce of room left in this sucker. I mean, it is just insane, but it still carries extremely light. Mind blowing, I know. Okay, enough of the chit chat, let's get started on this sucker. I have my bee shady inside a carry um, a huge bulking pair of sunglasses and a pair of regular glasses that I have to use to drive at nighttime. And I also have in there like a cleaning cloth. Don't have time to show you. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road. Um, in here I put my, one of my bee meters I should say, one of them. It's not the one I'm currently using so it doesn't have every single thing in it that you would have in there. But um, it does have like some sunglasses. Um, it has an iPod just stuff to bulk it up to that average size of what it would be if you did have it actually packed. I have a coin purse with like some cards in it. I have these huge set of keys here just all crammed in there. So you know you can tell it's like really nice and wide so it fit perfectly in here. My earth leather one for some reason didn't. I think the earth leather major is a lot larger for some strange reason. I'm not quite sure why. But here we go. Time for the unveiling of this masterpiece of packing. <laughs> Honestly, though, I would never, like, pack it like this to use it. I just don't see the use in all this stuff. But, um, I, most of it actually did come out of my BFF, which you can see right here, right there. Anyways, um, back to the bag. As you can see, this is, this is how she looks. Lovely, I know. Just all crammed in here. And if you look down there, you can see, hey, look! There's more bags. Okay. This here is my awesome new favorite bag that goes everywhere with me now, all around the house. It's my Iconic Quick, and inside of it, um, I carry my 7-inch tablets, like mine, my daughter's, whatever. It's mostly mine, but right now, for showing you guys and for uh, stuffing purposes, I have her Kindle Fire HD and my iPad Mini. They're both in poetic cases. Um, I have a spiral notebook with a pen, and I have a Be Neat pouch slap full of little goodies like styluses, um, chargers, um, to, you know, power chargers, headphones, all the little essentials you would need to get a good internet viewing going. As you can see, it's kind of thin with all that in there, so it doesn't take up a whole lot of room, but, you know, it, it's kind of restricted on space now that I have it so crammed. Um, here I was able to squeeze my chapstick, the little EOS, oh, it's so awesome, but you guys already know that. Here I have a small set piece in the pink pinwells, and I just kind of crammed some things in here for you guys, because I actually, since my last recorded video, I've already taken everything out of it and put it into something else and downsized into bags that I needed in my BFF. But now I can't even get this sucker open. I've got like a notepad in here and I can't open it. This is not good. Oh my goodness, so embarrassing. Okay, well we'll come back to you. You stay right there. Here I have my my um, Cherry Lemonade Be Mine First Eat Kit, which I have an alternative vi uh, video to show you guys exactly what is in here because I know you're curious. And look at this sucker. I mean, it's just huge. I use, actually, it would surprise you, I pr probably used it more on myself than I have on my kids. I'm a total klutz, so. It comes in handy for me. I have this beautiful um, Toki Perky Passy Pod that does not include passies. Yay! Inside we have lovely hair supplies for a beautiful family of girls. Oh, it's so wonderful to have girls and have all these cool little girl things. Over here I have my mommy small set piece in the platinum petals. And inside here I have my mommy essentials, you know, <clears throat> like once a month you're going to need those little certain things. Like I have tampons and I have, you know, some panty liners. Um, I also have like just from personal usage, um, I have a little calculator because me and math don't get along. Um, I have some earbuds for my iPhone. I have some Listerine strips, a hair tie. I have, I do not use clean and clear oil absorbing sheets, but I think the little package is super cool. 
So since I don't like to carry a makeup kit, I do carry these cool little um, makeup samples that I got when I sold Mary Kay in case you ever have a little makeup accident and you want to touch something up. Yes, I know. I'm weird, and but it works for me. So Onward we go. This is my backup quick, ch my backup um, medium set piece in the pink pinwells. And inside my backup medium set piece, which be being a backup means, you know, you're not really probably going to need anything in here, but you're just taking it just in case. Because you never know what might happen, what might come up. I have two extra diapers in here. I have a plastic little thing full of the Arm & Hammer garbage bags. Um, I have Micon drops. I have a baby washcloth, an extra pair of socks. Um, let's see. Yeah, baby washcloth, extra pair of drops. Or extra pair of socks, Milocon drops, or gel. Yeah, that's it. That's all I have in that. I'm sure you could fit a couple other things, but that was good enough for me. This one here in the platinum set petals, this medium set piece, is my actual change kit for whenever we need those quick trips to the restroom. Although I don't usually stay out long enough with my um, one-year-old that she actually needs a diaper change, but just in case, you never know. In here, I have um, some baby lotion, some Balmex cream, some Bath and Body Works antibacterial. I have one or two, it's just one, one Arm & Hammer garbage bag. I have a Perfect Paisley light change pad folded up nicely. One di size 4 diaper folded over. And I have my light um, wipes case, which is lined. Actually, I have it kind of poked in right here because the wipes are so small. So it's not made silly looking like this. It's just how I have it smooshed together right now. So it will fit in my medium set piece. I know you guys are thinking, think I'm totally weird because these things are supposed to keep the wipes wet. But, you know, I actually keep them in a plastic bag inside the soft wipe case even though it is lined to keep them wet. I know, I know. You ain't got to tell me twice. I'm not normal. <laughs> okay, this zippered compartment here. I have my um, Fuchsia Blossoms coin purse. And in my Fuchsia Blossoms coin purse, which is like so stuffed full of things, it is like crazy. Um, it is just stuffed completely overwhelmingly full with receipts and stuff where I've shipped you ladies your jujubes just in case they got lost in the mail I would have that you know so I could be like hey post office give me my money back or whatever you know and, and just some other little things that you might want to um, savor or hold on to I keep that in here here is my fuel cell it is decently packed. It's not like cram packed, but it's, it's got a decent amount of things in here. Um, right now I have the, my Shadow Waltz neat bib, not the pouch, just the bib, folded over up here in the clear pa plastic part with a spoon. Um, going inside of it here, as you can see, I have several things in here. Um, for those pesky outings to the restaurant and your child is the only one in there screaming, how about these awesome... Um, Target dollar bin play pack grab and go you know with the stickers and the crayons and the coloring book I mean come on you gotta be backed up you gotta have a backup plan when they're being unruly break that sucker out I have some antibacterial to get the ickies off I got some squeezable apple cinnamon whoops chewy bar have this little um I call it my snack bag uh, it was actually like a makeup it came with some eco tools or something I got one time it's like some makeup brushes and stuff um in here I have like a whole bunch of like really healthy snacks like prunes which my three-year-old thinks they're like candy and that's quite all right because if she wants to stay regular she needs to eat those suckers raisins um more prunes uh fruit snacks. I have an unhealthy snack of M&M's for whenever um, somebody does something really good and they deserve some M&M's. Um, I have some Kool-Aid squirt and it's never been opened and I also for my Kool-Aid squirt as well as my spoon whenever they're used I carry like a little um, sandwich bag with me so that I can put it 
in there once it's been opened so I don't ruin my absolutely gorgeous and priceless jujube because it means everything to me and I would cry and we can't have that um and this little bitty thing here I don't know why I still carry it my daughter hasn't had a passing in a long time but I guess if she's ever being unruly at like a restaurant or outing or something I have these little suckers in there and if they're gonna entertain her maybe they will maybe they won't I haven't I haven't a clue but I do carry them um, I have a three-tier I set up myself, an Inno Baby um, Pack and Smart with Goldfish, um, Teddy Grahams, and some multi-grain cereal. In this four-tier Pack and Smart, I have all the little, you know, when they start crawling um, and picking up and everything. I've got the, like, the little Cheetos and two cookies some of the little puff stars and then I got the mini yogurt melts I do believe that is all for my fuel cell that's all I keep in there so it was pretty nicely stuffed full of stuff my last bag in this lovely little bag um, is uh, the large set piece in the platinum petals and I use this as my one-year-old's entertainment bag actually you know whenever you're out one-year-olds get bored easily so I'm like come on mom let's go I have like this little book in here like the little red caboose I have like a little phone that makes noise just some random odd and end toys that you know will entertain her for a couple of minutes just long enough to get me out of there I don't I usually keep it on the bottom of my bags because I usually just have to pull out one toy and I put it back so that's how that goes um, let's see if I can open this one little piece. Uh, I couldn't get open earlier, the little set piece. Please let me be open it. I don't want anything to happen to this sucker. Just got it, and that would be just my luck, right? I'm trying really hard to not hurt it. I think I got it. Maybe. Hold on. Change of hands here. I think I, like, zipped up some fabric in it. Okay. Ooh, I got it. It is amazing. This is what was in this little piece. I had like a lighter. I had like a cleaning cloth for like my tablet. Um, what's so big and bulky and causing problems is this like little um, notepad um, thing you'd like to write like a shopping list down uh, or things to do list. Um, I have like a little mini tin of Altoids that I just threw in here to show you guys. And um, my daughter's super large bow headband. That thing is like the size of her head. So yeah, that's what I have in this little set piece here. I actually have a little grocery list in there that I needed to get. All of these goodies fit into this wonderful, small, tiny backpack that looks like it would be for a kid, but it's actually, it fits the adults quite nicely. And you know what, ladies? It is such a soft fabric, you can roll it up. And if you want to take it along as an extra bag for your kid or for yourself or something, you get lazy, you're going on a hike or something, you want to take the big bag and then you want to have the extra one, you can roll this sucker up and put it inside a light or a, a Super B. Or, you know what, if you're really good at rolling, you might even be able to fit it in a fuel cell. Thank you for watching my video of my crazy, insane packing. Um, hope you liked it.